Hi, this is Pete Madsen for Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here to talk about my lesson, Finger Picking in Open D Tuning. Um, I love uh, working with my students uh, when I'm doing finger picking. I like to get them into an open tuning as, as quickly as possible because open tunings actually are kind of easier to use than standard tuning. You avoid some of the, uh, the, the fretting issues that can happen with standard tuning. In uh, open D tuning, I am tuned to an open chord and I can actually do a finger picking pattern. And it sounds pretty good right away without even using my left hand. So first off, I want to describe how to get to open D tuning from standard tuning. Um, I'm tuning the strings down, so I'll start with the sixth string. I tune down from E a whole step to D. And on the fifth string, I'm going to leave that alone. That's an A. I'll leave it as A. And then the D string, I leave as D. I tune the third string, which is a G, down a half step to F sharp. And then the second string, I'll tune down a whole step from B to A. And the first string, I tune down a whole step from E to D. Um, if everything went right, the chord should sound like that. It's a D chord. I only have three notes here. I have uh, three D strings, two A strings, and one string, the third string, tuned to F sharp. Okay, so first off, um, I'm going to be using a alternating bass uh, quarter note bass uh, for everything throughout this lesson. So I'll start off just playing an alternating bass between the sixth and the fourth string. This will be exercise one. Uh, and if I count to the count of four, one, two, three, four. So I'll be using that bass pattern throughout the rest of the lesson. Um, just to get your finger picking up to speed, what I like to use is dedicate three fingers to the top three strings on the guitar. I dedicate my index finger to the third string, my middle finger to the second string, and my ring finger to the first string. So as you, you'll see the abbreviations P-I-M-A, I is for index, M is for middle, a is for the ring, and P is for the thumb. All right. So in exercise two, I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between the bass notes and these three strings. Uh, here's uh, exercise two. Case, the treble notes were all being played, were being played between the bass notes. In exercise three, I'm going to play the treble strings with the bass notes, and we call these pinches. One, two, three, four. Okay, exercise four is pretty much the linchpin finger picking wise of this uh, this lesson. This will be the pattern I'll be using throughout the rest of the lesson. And it starts off with a pinch, and then bass note, treble note, bass note, treble note, bass note. So this is the finger picking pattern. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. You'll notice so far I haven't even done anything with my left hand yet, but uh, now in exercise five, I'm going to add some notes onto the first string, and this is going to be a Mixolydian scale played just on the one string, starting with the open string and moving all the way up to the 12th fret. So exercise five, open, second fret, fourth, fifth, seventh, ninth, ten, twelve. Okay, um, 
exercise six, I'm going to combine the finger picking pattern, which I just played, with the Mixolydian scale. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. just moving up one fret at a time for each measure. Uh, you can play around with just that scale alone. You could descend. Just play around with that a little bit. Get to know the scale first, walking up, um, ascending, and descending, and then play around and add notes, or, or excuse me, uh, skip notes and play around with it a little bit. So that's all of week one.